Today I'm going to talk about whites. So, first white, I'm going to talk about it's the most common white in oil painting. It's titanium white, which is a very opaque white. It's all purpose. It makes uh, colors chalky when you mix a lot of white to it because it's quite has a strong uh, tinting strength, a very strong tinting strength. Apply it like that, and then I'm going to show you a color to see what I mean. When you mix a color, see how it changes the color? It gets quite chalky. This is a lizard crimson that I'm mixing into it. It makes it quite pink. Very, very pink. Just add a bit there. Hope you can see this well. I don't have the best video camera in the world. Right. But it's it looks but it, I hope you get a good example of that. Next I'm gonna show you your rag here for where's my other rag? There's the rag. I'm gonna show you next uh, zinc white. Zinc white's a cool it's often a cool white and it's quite trans it's a semi-translucent. It's good for uh, glazing and scumbling. See, it has a lot. It's much cooler. It has a lower. Uh, it has lower cap covering capacity, as you can see. I can even see some of the dark sh tone showing through there. And it, and it has a very, very low tinting strength. See, this won't change the crimson very much. Need more a little more zinc white. It's very it's very good for gumble, stumbling and glazing, and it's also good if you're using it for uh, doing a good white for doing a la prima painting, which you do it in one session. See the difference? That's much more chalkier, and that's much more, and that's not because this has a strong tinting strength, titanium white. The next white I'm going to show you is a flake white, which is a nice thick white, as you can see it. It's an, it's an, it actually, it dries fairly quickly. It's very, very thick. It's a warm white, much thicker than you, than the other whites that we have here. Then I'll take a tiny little bit of a lizard crimson and mix it. See, there is a difference, a bit of a difference. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, it's pretty cool. The flake what I'm using, it, it's called flake white replacement. Gamelin makes it. I'll show you here. And it has no lead in it, so it's just like a thicker version of titanium white. It's nice if you don't like working with lead, because tra a traditional flake white has lead in it, and lead's quite dangerous to work with. The last white I'm going to show you is a mi called a mixing white, which is a good all-purpose white. Apply it here. And right here and this is it has it's quite it's quite opaque as like titanium white but it's got zinc white into it so that so it doesn't make mixtures quite chalky if you don't want a chalky mixture see I'll just apply it like that and see the and see the difference from titanium white how much chalkier that looked versus the mixing white it's interesting, I mix the same color and it chain they're all a little different. Now you don't have to use all four whites. If you really like a lot of texture, flake white would be good. Or and your and a mixing white would be nice too. If you don't like just chalky mixtures. And if you really like zinc white, if you like gumbling scumbling and glazing, 
Zinc white would be a good white to use too. That's the only white you can glaze with is zinc. Well, that's the end of this video. I, ho I hope you learned lots about whites and oil painting. And this is bye for now. Bye.